Okay, so wanna just have a look at some settings in the uh, Meta Quest PC app. So I'm I'm connected via Questlink, and I'm just going to go into my devices and set up here. And I am just going to go to my graphic settings. And when I was doing the testing on my very very first video, I had got the rendering resolution set to this level at 90 hertz. So I'm going to try and bump that up um, another two notches to 1.2 and see what the difference is in DCA. Okay, so... Um, Looking at my DCS settings, I think is a good idea. So I've got textures to medium. Setting that to high just kills my frames in some uh, maps and some aircraft, especially when there's a lot of um, vehicles, ships, other aircraft around. I've got water set to medium, civilian traffic off, heat blur off, shadows off. Shadow is, is like a frames killer on my settings. I've got uh my monitor resolution set to uh, 1920 by 1080 which is good for screen recording um msao i've actually bumped up to four times um as you can see these are all off i've comp done a bit of a compromise with these settings as well in the past to get good um better frame rates but I might start tweaking with these again now that I've got the Quest 3 because I think the Quest 3 is just a bit better at decompressing the data stream from the uh, PC. Um, so there's that. Somebody suggested that I turn off Enable HMD Mask because that apparently... Oh, right, I see. Oh, okay. I can actually see something happening in my headset there. They said turn that off, it's better for your frames. So I'm doing it. My pixel density is 1.3. I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. So I'm watching out for a couple of things here. One is going to be latency when I'm turning my head around, which on the Quest 2 was Six not wins, amazing. Searching. And the other thing is my frame rate, which let's get the frame counter up. And apparently if we touch that little triangle, I think we have to be in... There we go. Click that. Okay, does that make a difference? No, it just makes it black. Alright, so I'm looking at 35 FPS. Now this was about 45 yesterday when I'd got the um, sampling in the quest down at 1.1 rather than 1.2 so that might have an impact the it doesn't seem to have affected the latency when I'm turning my head we'll see what happens when I actually start flying the thing So we'll off we go. We'll fly over to the ships. So we're staying fairly Radar. stable at around the uh, mid 30s, mid to high 30s. There's the there's a sensation of a not quite as smooth with the head turns as it was on the slightly lower setting but again this is one of the aircraft that I get poor performance on and one of the maps I get poor performance on so we will test it on a different map it's more consistent than the Quest 2 was things in the cockpit look a lot better 
a lot crisper. The MFDs, for example. It's very subjective. But although the, the FPS is less with the Quest 3, and I th that's partly because the maximum uh, hertz for refresh rate is 90, whereas in the Quest 2 it was 120, uh, using the link cable. But there are no slowdowns or stutters like I used to get in the uh, Quest 2. And flying the aircraft feels really smooth. Obviously I'm in single player, I'm not flying a mission, but normally if I get good performance in this particular uh, map, on this particular mission, everything else is normally quite good. But I'm going to say that because I've upped the super sampling to 1.2, it's not quite as nice as it was when I tested it yesterday. We will come back to this. I'm going to pause it now, quit it now, and we'll we'll try another aircraft. 